you seeing this colour coordination today? It can only be a good day when you colour coordinate with your squash. So hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel and hello if you are new. Today I decided to film another food challenge style video because not gonna lie the weather's a little bit grey, I'm really bored, I've got no friends to go out with at the moment so I thought why not challenge myself to eat off of my George Foreman grill for the entire day. So all of my meals and all of my snacks are gonna be on the George Foreman. And if you know me on Instagram, you will kind of know about this love affair that I'm having with my George Foreman at the moment. We've been together for about, you know, four or five months. It's going really well. He is always there for me. I'm always there for him. I'm gonna stop there. Basically, nine times out of 10 for lunches, I've been having toasties on my George Foreman and it kind of got me thinking, how far can I push its limits? Obviously, everyone knows that you can cook meat on the George Foreman, but it, I feel like you can do so much more with it than that. We're gonna see how it goes. I have planned out some recipes, so I, it shouldn't go too badly, but there is one recipe that could genuinely be a disaster, so... Breakfast time now and I am pretty hungry and I've decided to make protein French toast. So I've actually never had French toast before and I've never made French toast before. I've had eggy bread but I've never had the sweet version. So we're gonna see how that goes. Ah, I should also mention that I will be having like yogurt and berries with my breakfast and throughout the day I'll have like sauces and stuff but I'm not gonna put that on my George Foreman. Don't, no, no. So allow me that, but everything else, I promise, will be on the George Foreman. Let's get started and see how this goes. Ingredients are as follows. Hovis granary bread, cinnamon Danish whey protein, which I feel like is a classic for French toast, and an egg, and then milk if I need it as well. I haven't even had French toast before and I know that this smells like it already. smoke coming out of this oh god okay moment of truth oh okay interesting result i think it's cooked to be fair it looks a lot better on the other side i'm gonna give it like one more minute it smells really really good so i'm hoping that it tastes kind of better than it looks Okay, last minute brainwave. I'm gonna see what happens if I put frozen blueberries on the foreman. can't deal I think this might be one of the best breakfasts I've made in a really long time what the hell you're seeing this I actually can't deal what the hell how did this turn out so well we're just gonna ignore the fact that there's absolute carnage around me from where I haven't tidied up and I've just pushed everything out of shot 
because I need to I need to taste test this. Oh, I think I needed to add some like sugar or something because it's actually not very sweet at all. The Greek yogurt is obviously quite sour as well. I might add some vanilla flav drops and I think that will counteract the fact that I didn't put enough sugar in it. The blueberries are so good as well. They're all like warm. Guys, you need to try this. I knew George wouldn't let me down. I don't know. I don't know. I can't, I can't, I can't call you. Sweet Maria. I cannot send you a letter in the mail. Yeah, I just want to know. Pickles. I feel like it looks so ominous because it's gone so dark today. If you heard the sound of that. There she is. I think it would have been wrong not to have a toasty for lunch, considering that is what inspired this video. So as you've seen, I've got a tuna mayo toasty with pickles and tomato, and I'm also gonna dip in some ketchup. I've also got an extremely awkward setup here because my lens is crap, so I kind of just have to like crouch a little bit. I'm hungry and I'm excited for this. My, f my third and fourth slice of bread today. Come at me, bro. Toasties on the foreman just hit different. So I kind of knew lunch was gonna be a winner and it definitely was. Snack after lunch is gonna be a bit more questionable. I've got a couple of ideas, but I'm not actually sure which one I'm gonna go for yet. I'm gonna let this settle and see what I fancy. Are you ready to find out what my genius idea is? Da, 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 da. If you don't know, this is a my protein filled vegan cookie and it's like filled with salted caramel and it tastes 10 out of 10. And this is what I would usually have as an afternoon snack. So. I'm gonna put it on the foreman and see what happens. It is so dark outside today. I've had to put artificial lights on. This is what the cookie looks like. Please go well. How long do I give it? I don't know. But fuck me, it smells amazing. Oh my God. I'm seeing smoke, I'm gonna take it off. <gasps> Have I burnt it? brought it upstairs because the lighting's better. If we ignore the fact that it looks like a burger, I don't know, it smells honestly amazing, but please don't let me down. Oh my god. Guys. I'm 100% standing on my stairs right now. Okay. It's like a subpar microwaving the cookie that didn't make any sense don't don't do this it doesn't taste as good as microwaving it or eating it unheated i feel like 10 out of 10 for effort it's still really good i think i slightly burnt it because it's kind of a little bit bitter on the top but still warm cookie not a bad snack this is my plan for dinner i'm gonna put these butternut squash slices on the foreman 
Then I'm gonna have some smoked tofu and basically roasted veggies, I suppose. I also feel like I'm gonna have to do this in stages because I've only got a small foreman. It's gonna be a squeeze. So I've just looked up a recipe online. It says to put them on the foreman for 20 minutes. I'm gonna season with garlic salt and smoked paprika. These are my life. It's been 20 minutes. Ooh, she smells good. Okay, I'm gonna give them a flip because I think they're not cooking on the top side. Veggies time. I'm gonna put this flavored one on. Fancy, you know, even though I know you're not supposed to put oil on the foreman. Feels cooked. If this doesn't take anyone back to my previous video, I'm getting flashbacks. We've had mixed outcomes with this one. The quality of my meals have definitely gone down throughout the day, but got the butternut squash, roasted peppers, tender stem broccoli, tofu, and mushrooms. The first thing I already know is that we're gonna have a situation where the butternut squash is cold, as are the veggies and the tofu and the mushrooms are hot because they're obviously the last things that came off. So I'm not gonna lie, this would have worked better if I had one of those like industrial George Foremans, but obviously mine is only the small one so I could only fit a certain amount on at a time. I'm not gonna microwave it because that would defeat the object of the challenge. I don't know if you can see, but some of the butternut squash has worked better than others and I think that's because of the height of them on the grill. Some of them are just a bit soft. I do worry about the textures on this plate because everything does look a bit soft not very crispy so yeah who knows it could taste amazing but 10 out of 10 would not recommend to a friend spending half an hour cooking a meal that should probably only take five minutes cold squidgy butternut squash peppers really good peppers okay broccoli really like the broccoli mushrooms they, they the mushrooms don't look good they're just a bit nothing but watery and the tofu i have high hopes for this because this actually looks quite crispy oh my god mm. put tofu on your george foreman overall as a meal let me stop talking my mouth full give it maybe a six out of ten but individually the tofu would get like an eight or a nine out of ten the broccoli an eight out of ten the peppers maybe like a seven out of ten and then the rest of it like a three out of ten was also going to have some hummus with it but i came home to find out that my mum had eaten all of the hummus so that's really nice of her i'm probably just gonna smother it in ketchup instead and then enjoy this for dinner some things you put on the foreman and some things you don't you can't have it all. Good evening. It is dessert time and I have no idea how this one is going to go. So I am going to attempt to make an ice cream cookie sandwich on the George Foreman using my breakfast cookie recipe that is on my Instagram. <laughs> So I have made the cookie mix. I used Twix flavored protein, which is so good. So it's just oats, banana, protein powder, and almond milk to kind of mix it together. I'm gonna put this on the foreman, see what happens. And then if they go well, I'm gonna stuff it with some of the little espresso ice cream and I feel like that will be such a banging dessert. I really want this to go well because you know me, I love dessert and I need it. Ok, 
okay. They've literally been in for two minutes, but I'm gonna see. They've turned into like freakish, I don't even know what. Oh my God, why does everything I cook on here look like a burger? Guys, they're stuck. No. I knew this was gonna be hit or miss. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <gasps> Crisis averted. Slightly burnt, but we can work with this. Okay, this is very, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about this. I mean, it doesn't look bad. And I feel like with the ingredients that we have, it can't taste bad either, right? It's obviously melting at an astonishing rate, so I need to eat it now. I don't think it's gonna work as an ice cream sandwich, that's for sure. For your entertainment, I'm gonna try and eat it like a sandwich. <laughs> oh my God. That is phenomenal. I think that is the best thing I've ever eaten in my life. What the hell? I'm gonna deconstruct. There is no doubt that is the ugliest thing you've ever seen. But guys, it tastes so good. I'm also gonna probably finish the rest of the tub because it's open and tell me I'm not cheating, please. I think my little smirk says it all. I'm honestly in heaven. And I'm gonna wrap this up quickly so I can eat this before it melts. If you got this far in the video, comment down below, ice cream. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I really enjoyed filming it actually, because I think I can be quite safe and boring with my diet, like eating the same things, oats for breakfast, toasty for lunch, same kind of dinners. So it's fun to experiment and find new ways of cooking things. Obviously there were things that didn't work, but also things that did work and yeah. Please like and subscribe if you are new and I will see you in the next one. Who knows what it will be. It's just so good. Oh my goodness.